Hello, good morning viewers. Let us find a solution to this interesting exponential as well as radical equation. We are given that the square root of 7 plus square root of 48 all to the power of x plus square root of 7 minus root of 48 all to the power of x is equal to 14. We want to find the values of x that will satisfy this equation. Before we start with the solution, I want you to observe something. Look at the terms under the square root. We have 7 plus root of 48 and here we have 7 minus root of 48. So if we should multiply them, we are going to obtain difference of two squares. So all we have to do here is to multiply these two times together. Alright, so we have, you know, a square root can be written as a power of 1 over 2 from the laws of indices. So from the left hand side, we have 7 plus root of 48 all raised to the power of x divided by 2. It is the same thing as this. Then we want to multiply that by 7 minus square root of 48 all to the power of x divided by 2. Since we have common exponents, we can multiply the bases and give them a single power. So this is equal to 7 squared minus root of 48 also squared raised to the power of x divided by 2 because this is a difference of two squares this will be equal to 7 squared is 49 minus root of 48 squared is 48 raised to the power of x divided by 2 49 minus 48 is equal to 1 and 1 to the power of x divided by 2 is still 1 so this implies that this is equal to 1. So let me clear this and continue. Okay, let us begin by substitution. Let 7 plus root of 48 all to the power of x over 2 be equal to y. So let me set it to be equal to y. Let 7 plus root of 48 all to the power of x divided by 2 be equal to y. If this is equal to y, therefore this will be equal to 1 divided by y. 7 minus root of 48 all to the power of x over 2 will be equal to 1 divided by y. So these two equations are going to be substituted into the main equation. Solve for y, back substitute to obtain the value of x. So you can see that this is exactly equal to y. And this is equal to 1 over y. This means that y plus 1 over y is equal to 14. So we have y plus 1 over y is equal to 14. Multiply each term by y. So we have y squared plus 1 is equal to 14y. Bring everything to the left hand side. y squared minus 14y plus 1 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, but it is non-factorizable. I can solve it by completing the square method. I think it's quite easy. y squared minus 14y. Leave a space for a magic number. Take 1 to the right-hand side. We have negative 1. All right, we are going to add to both sides the square of the half the coefficient of y. Coefficient of y is equal to negative 14. Divide by 2 is negative 7 squared is 49 so we add 49 here we equally add 49 here so what we have to the left is a perfect square quadratic expression which can be factorized as y minus half the coefficient of y which is 7 raised to the power of 2 and to the right we have 48 y minus 7 is equal to plus or minus square root of 48 if you take square root of both sides finally y is equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 48 if negative 7 crosses over so now we have two values of y the first one is y equal to 7 plus square root of 48 and the other one is y equal to 7 minus square root of 48 but remember that y is equal to 7 plus 
square root of 48 all to the power of x divided by 2. So y is equal to 7 plus square root of 48 all to the power of x divided by 2, which is now equal to 7 plus square root of 48. We can raise it to a power of 1. It's all the same. Now we can see that the bases are the same, so we can equate the powers. x divided by 2 is equal to 1. Multiply both sides by 2. x is equal to 2. So this is one of the solutions. Now we are going to use the other equation, which is y equal to 7 minus square root of 48. So we know that y is equal to 7 plus square root of 48 raised to the power of x divided by 2. This is equal to the other equation, 7 minus square root of 48, 7 minus square root of 48. Now you can see that the bases are entirely different, so we cannot relate the powers. But remember that if you multiply these two together, you're going to obtain 1. Therefore, 7 minus square root of 48 is the same thing as the reciprocal of 7 plus square root of 48. So we can say that 7 plus square root of 48 raised to the power of x divided by 2 is now equal to 7 plus this time around square root of 48 raised to the power of negative 1, which is the reciprocal of this. Now you can see the bases are the same. We can now say that the powers are also the same. x divided by 2 equal to negative 1. Multiply both sides by 2 x finally equal to negative 2. And hence we have two values of x. The first one is x equal to 2 and the other one x equal to negative 2. These are the two solutions that will satisfy the original equation which is square root of 7 plus square root of 48 to the power of x plus square root of 7 minus square root of 48 all to the power of x equal to 14. Hence the real values of x are 2 and negative 2. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.